It's a joy for me to welcome Aaron and David DeVoyson who are here with their children and in addition to their son and their daughter, Henry and Ellie, they bring their youngest son today for the sacrament of baptism. We welcome the family that's here with them. Um, David's parents, Jan and Deborah DeVoyson, welcome. And uh, Aaron's parents, Sean and Sandy Hughes, thank you for sharing this family with us. I want to acknowledge the great grand father who is either here or watching online, David's father, Hank Marino. We're glad to have his blessing with us. And we also welcome Aunt Danielle and uh, Uncle Patrick and John Holmes, who's representing the session, standing with them. Let's gather at the font with this family together. I invite uh, Aaron and David to come and join with me now. Friends, the sacrament of baptism is a gift to us. Jesus Christ gave us this gift and gave us this gift that we might have it as a way of welcoming into his family all who are called by him. When we share in this sacrament, we remember that what God did in the life and the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, he did for this little boy in particular. Here, we remember our own baptisms and the promises of God which have been faithful across our journeys. Let us pray together. Thank you, loving God, for the way in which you call us and welcome us. Thank you for this sacrament of family identity, your sacrament of welcome. We pray that you would take these waters and set them apart from a common to a sacred juice. Grant that what we do here on earth might be ordained in heaven. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would hear us as we give thanks for your faithfulness, the story of your saving history, as we see it again in this sacrament. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm going to ask uh, Elder Nicole to come and help me now. I'm teasing. Yeah. Aaron and David, as you bring this, your third child, forward for the sacrament of baptism, I ask you if you're able once again to profess your own faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Are you? Yes. And will you seek to raise him in the nurture and admonition of the Lord? Will you seek to raise him in the Christian faith? Will you? Yes. And you also have the chance to make promises as the big brothers and big sisters and the cousins who are placed around him as the family of Jesus Christ, the representatives of that family here today, are you able to promise to lift up the example of your own character before him that seeing it, it might be a guide to him as he grows in faith towards the journey of his own good confession of faith? Can you promise to pray for these parents as they partner with God in the raising of this little boy? And can you help to ensure that there will exist in the world a church where he can grow up and learn the stories of the Bible for himself. If you can support them in this way, please signify that by saying, I will. Amen. What name shall be given to this child? His full name. George Robert de Voison, child of the covenant. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And may the Spirit of God descend upon thee and dwell within thee forever. Amen. I don't know if Ellie would like to come and walk down with us together. All right, and we're going to sing. We're going to welcome George by singing. All right? Any of the children that want to come, that's fine. Good. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Right? Okay. Turn back. May I weep, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Let's pray together. We thank you, Lord, 
that we have this child here, this life amongst us, that we have the privilege of sharing with him as he enters into the family of faith. We thank you for the parents that you have placed around him in love already, in the circle of family love around him and your church. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will see him safely through childhood and adolescence and bring him to his own good confession of faith. We pray that you'll give his parents the gifts they need as they partner with you for the raising of him. We pray for patience and energy and forgiveness. We pray, O oh Lord, that you would give them laughter and imagination and wisdom and faith and hope and love, all of the gifts that you know they need. And we pray not only for this little boy, but for children whose cries come out of authentic pain or hunger or fear. Help them, Lord, and use us as a part of your compassion reaching out to them. For we pray, remembering how Jesus said, let the children come unto me and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Thank you. This is a wonderful thing that God has done. He is a sign of God's goodness to us. You're a good boy. All right. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you for sharing with us. Yes, that was great.